Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to set up messaging for in-app web in Salesforce and uh, test it using a Visual Force page. Um, um, this messaging for in-app web uh, is not available in developer edition. It needs uh, licensing. So you can uh, try this in a sandbox, thoroughly test it and then you can uh, do the changes in production. Um, so once you have the license, uh, once you are able to access uh, messaging settings under Salesforce, uh, you have to enable messaging. Previously for uh, chat, embedded service chat, we usually go and create a chat button and a chat deployment and then we will come to um, embedded service deployment and then we will create a new deployment using that but uh, for uh, messaging for in-app uh, web first we have to enable messaging so once you enable messaging you can create a new channel i have already created a channel so this is my uh, channel i haven't done any custom parameters or parameter mappings when you create a new channel, make sure you select messaging for in-app and web. And uh, yeah, so this is my uh, messaging channel. Okay, so next what we have to do is we have to create a embedded service deployment. We have to go to the same embedded service deployments and uh, when you click new, you will be able to select messaging for in-app and web. So when you click new, you will be able to see messaging for in-app and web. Okay, so this is my embedded service deployment for messaging for in-app and web. Once you create it, when you create it, you have to select uh, any name and the AP name will be automatically getting populated. And uh, this site endpoint will be, uh, will be updated by Salesforce. Uh, this is nothing but uh, for uh, 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 so previous uh, embedded uh, service deployment uh, we should first create a force.com site or a community but here Salesforce uh, itself will create a uh, uh, LWR community for us and uh, domain so domain is the uh, URL where you will be hosting this uh, messaging uh, code uh, in, in a real-time project if you have if you are working for a company called ABC and uh, if the company's domain is abc.com from which uh, the chat is going to be initiated by the uh, visitors then you have to use abc.com I am using uh, uh, my domain name because I'm going to use a visual force page uh, to preview and test it so that's the reason I'm uh, I'm using my my domain URL and uh, this is the messaging channel I have selected so this is the channel which we created so if you want to do some branding you can do if you want to have a custom label for for, for example uh, first name if you want to replace it with a different label you can replace it uh, pre-chat pre-chat is applicable when only when you use uh, uh, omni-channel flow but here I'm using uh, queue based routing um, and uh, you have uh, show delivery receipts show red receipts and uh, show typing indicators uh, so this is uh, easy to understand delivery receipt means it is delivered red receipts means it is uh, read by the agent and the user and uh, uh, typing indicators means if I am an agent if I type something the visitor will be able to see a notification saying that uh, uh, if I am my name is admin admin typing so like that they will be able to see that indicator Okay, so next step is click install code snippet. Copy the code. Create a visual force page with the code which you got it from the from the code snippet, chat code snippet. 
and next important thing is CSP. and course. In the CSP trusted site, copy this uh, SCRT2 URL and enter it. So here, so this is the SCRT URL which I copied from here. And then I have set it for all context so that I can use across multiple websites. And uh, if I use experience cloud site in the future, I can use the same. So that's the reason I have selected all and I have set it to active. Next important thing is create a new course for your domain. Uh, so for example, if you're hosting it on abc.com, then you have to add abc.com domain here in the course. So since I'm going to use a visual force page to test it. I have set my domain URL in the course. Okay, so the next step is once you are done with the CSP and course, preview the visual force page to test it. So this is my visual force page preview. So once I click, I will be able to initiate the chat. The chat is initiated. So as an agent, I will get the request. So first we have to enable messaging settings, create a channel. Next to create an embedded service deployment of type messaging for in-app and web. And click uh, code snippet, install code snippet, copy the code, create a visual force page. Enter the SCRT2 URL in the CSP trusted site. Add your uh, domain URL in the course preview the visual force page to test it. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.